Welcome to multiple choice question 22 of the 2006 Mathematical Methods Exam 2. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. Before we move on, I'd just like to point out that the use of a CAS calculator may assist when answering this sort of problem, but you can do it without a calculator if you wish. For question 22, it says which of the following could be the graph of y equals a log e of x subtract b, where a is less than 0, so a is a negative number, and b is greater than 0. So one way that we could do this is we could just choose a value of a that's less than 0 and a value of b that's greater than 0, put it in a calculator, and then graph it. So on the CAS calculator, go into the main menu. Next, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a couple of values for a and b that satisfy the conditions that are given. So a must be less than 0, so I'm going to choose negative 2 as a possible value of a. And then we know that the rule was log natural or log e, so we can use ln on the calculator, of x take a positive b value. So I could just pick a positive b value of, say, 1 and that could be one possible set of values of a and b, where a is negative and b is positive, that we can graph to see what it looks most like out of the five options. So hitting the graph icon, I can now drag that down, and we can see roughly where the graph shape exists, and also that there's probably an asymptote at one. In fact, we know based on a log graph that if we have x take one there, then there'll definitely be an asymptote of x equals 1. And we can now compare that to the options that are given, and we can see that it's most like option C. So from the calculator, we just saw that C was the most close representation between the specific case that we got on the calculator and those presented to us. So C, it does turn out to be the correct answer. However, if you wanted to do this without a calculator, it is possible. So a being less than 0 means that a is a negative number, and that means that the graph is going to be reflected over the x-axis. So in terms of a graph, if I just do a very small sketch of that, if we knew that our classic log graph used to go this direction, a reflection over the x-axis will actually mean that it goes down there. So that would be the generic shape of the graph when a is less than 0. So straight away we could start crossing out some options. So we knew that A would be wrong, B would be wrong, and that would only leave C, D, and then looking at E, that's not even a log-shaped graph, so we could get rid of that one immediately. And now the differences between C and D, hopefully you can keep track of the two that we're looking at, is whether the graph is translated in the positive x direction or translated in the negative x direction when B is a positive number. So this here is b is a positive number so that means we'll have x subtract a number in there there'll always be x minus a positive number and we know that that results in a translation in the positive x direction when it's x subtract something so perhaps if i put my mini sketch down here just where there's a bit of room now not only would the graph be reflected over the x-axis it also means that the asymptote is guaranteed to appear running through the positive x-axis, so on the right-hand side of the y-axis. So we'd be looking for a graph that was somewhere down here. And again, that leads us to the answer of C, just as our specific case from the calculator showed. So option C is correct for this question. And from the examiner's report, we can see that 69% of students got this question correct. So it wasn't really well done, but it was still moderately well done by students on this exam.